the world of the flesh is a world that has come to pass 2,000 years ago. Let's look at it in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 26. Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 26. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now, 2,000 years ago, but now once, once in the end of the, what, ages, 2,000 years ago, the world of the flesh, God divorced himself from that. God no longer sees you according to the flesh. He got tired of that. Therefore, in that, when he consumed the ages, the new heavens and new earth begun. You know what John talks about in Revelation as something that's to happen in the future? That happened 2,000 years ago where God, created all things anew. Religion is the one that has ruined the minds of the chosen people of God because that's why there's so much evil and the minds of men are so corrupt because 2,000 years ago, they didn't, they didn't tell us, they didn't teach us this science. They were supposed to 2,000 years ago start educating people with this science in the end of the what? The ages. The ages were consumed and Paul brought the information, but they didn't register it. They killed Paul because what he spoke was a threat to religion. So he left it written. He left the foundation, the foundation but the law or grace is letter or it's unprofitable until the Lord appears. So he left it written, but it was veiled. Everybody was veiled. So people would read, the Baptists would interpret one way, the Catholics, the Protestants would interpret another way. And what you see is a bunch of diversity, millions reading, but with different interpretation because everything was veiled it was written in the end of ages it was consumed there were even hints given for instance the bc ad after christ's death that was a a hint that god gave humanity that's why the new age started that's, that's why we're now in the 2014. I mean, what happened to the 4,000 years before then? Things should have started right there. The change should have started there. So there was a change where God divorced himself from the world of the flesh. But we walk with that flesh. It's a world that's very dangerous. Your flesh hasn't changed. Your flesh hasn't changed. You think you've changed. And what happens is because your veil was taken away, you feel like if you've changed, but you haven't changed in anything. You are very, very dangerous. But what happens is God allows certain experiences. That we come to learn how to handle things differently. I thought I liked this or that, but you find that no, that wasn't, you know, something you should be doing, and you correct it. You you start to correct situations, correct them, but you haven't changed. 